Hey y'all, I'm back. It's Papa Hector, and I'm here to teach you more about psychic stuff, your future, mediumship, and everything else that has to do with spell casting, spiritualism, science, voodoo, voodoo, la 21 división. Okay? And today what I want to discuss is something very important topic to discuss because it's something that's heavily misunderstood by people who are not in the spiritual development or working towards spiritual development, okay? So it's your future. <clears throat> I know I wrote it kind of crazy here, but I want you to see what I'm about to do here because this is some real stuff that people really aren't going to give to you and people don't really maybe explain this to you and it's something that it would take you a while for you to learn this on your own maybe. Now, when it comes to your future, you as a human being, what differentiates you and makes you so special as a person is that you have the power of choice and you have the power of free will. Now, when we're doing spells, what we're doing is we're affecting free will and choices and everything else, and we're influencing things. But what I want to get bef into before that is that your life, okay? So your life in for a psychic or a spiritual worker is almost like the best way I could describe is like a map okay and what you have is a whole bunch of roads each one of these lines represents roads and paths that one can take you understand that one can take in life and you, when you come to the psychic, the medium, the spiritual worker, the healer, the sancita, el caballo de misterio, whoever it is that you go to, okay? You are, let's say, right here on this road in this path. This is you, okay? That's where you're at. What, right here, you're in the crossroads. And maybe a certain crossroads due to a certain situation or a certain topic or path in your life, okay? And the spiritual worker sees... A number of paths that are possible to be taken. The psychic. This is what we see. This is what the future consists of. Let's say back here is your path. Past, let's say. This is your past path. This is where you have already walked. You've already traversed on the map. Okay? This is things that you've already done. Okay? This is where you've already been. You know, before in your past. This, when a psychic or a spiritual worker sees this, this is pretty consistent. It is what it is. It's the past. It's already happened. It's not much that can be changed about it. It's the future that we're going to discuss, right? So that's what the what a lot of us will see first, and this serves to show you that there's a good connection with your psychic, your medium, your spiritual worker. There, you should be able to give you some events or details about what's going on with your situation, your past, your situation, and... Um, your case okay now the future though presents itself as a number of roads okay and when a psychic or a medium sees the future for you what they see is actually okay is the road most likely t to be taken most likely okay the most likely road that you can take as a person okay and let's say in your particular case <clears throat> That might be this road going straight up. Okay, you see that red line? That's your case. So you're going straight up down that path, down that road. Okay? But as a human being and as a person, you have choices in life. That's one of the beauties of, of being human is that you have free will. It's something that God granted to you to be able to make choices and decisions as to where you want your life and your path to head. Now... As you can see, as you walk up into your map of your future, I'm going to erase this here so that you can see, okay, is that there continues to be more and more roads and paths that can be taken, okay? And... What the psychic is seeing is what's most likely to occur, what's most likely to happen, what's the most likely path. However, as a person, you have power to control your life. You are the key in your life. 
you are in the driver's seat of your life. That's one of the beauties that God gives to us as human beings. And that means that you have choices and decisions that you can make to change the path that you're headed on. And other things that you can do to change the path that you're headed on. So, depending on what you choose, even though a psychic sees that your most likely path is, let's say, going straight up down here and through here, you can make choices. So, if you choose to, somewhere along this path, deviate from the path of most, where the most energy shows that's most likely for you to travel, you can deviate and you can change this. That's one part of the reason we have spells to begin with. You can change this path and start to go this way towards goal. Let's say your goal is heart right here. Um, the goal that you want to reach. And you can change by your choices and decisions in life. You can change where your path leads. And you can change the direction of your life and the direction of the lives of people around you. <clears throat> this is why the future is something that a lot of psychics will tell you. It's not set in stone. It's something that is changeable. And on each of these paths, no matter which one you take, there's different things that you're going to come across on these paths. There's other people in life also taking the paths, okay? So um, that'll be another topic because I want to do a video about love spells and paths in life soon. But what you have to understand is that there's paths in life, and the psychic sees the most likely path. But that doesn't mean you can't choose to change your life and change the path that you're headed on. And depending on your choices and decisions, even if you want to traverse this path, if you're making choices and decisions and doing things in your life or operating in your life in a way that's contradicting the path that you want to walk, it will most likely set you on different places in the path or take you off the path. Okay, now along all these paths, we have to also take into consideration that with every path, no matter where it is, is that there in paths, different paths, some will have more obstacles. I'm going to represent that by the letter O, okay, or blockages than other paths. That'll be B. Those obstacles or blockages can make getting to an end goal, let's say here, a financial, you know, upliftment more difficult. And if you're traversing the path where there's going to be, let's say, lots of obstacles, it may take you a lot longer to get there. And depending, again, on the choices and decisions you make will depend on how fast you can get to the end goal and where you will end up at. Your life is all about choices. That's one of the beauties is that God gave you this thing. It's called free will. And he gave it to everyone else as well. And along with these obstacles, there will also be shortcuts. One way to shortcut a path sometimes is through spell work or spiritual work. There will be shortcuts. There will be alleyways. There will be detours. You understand? So, you know, there will be detours that will have to be made sometimes in order to get where one needs to go. So I hope this is giving you a better understanding of how the future works. Because this, what this means is when you get a psychic reading, you can choose whether or not you want to accept the path that has been predicted to you in the future. Okay? You can start to make choices or decisions and make the proper steps to move towards the goals that you want to reach. And... When a psychic tells you the future, it's not set in stone. So if a psychic tells you you're going to get a job six months from now, let's say here, this is what they're seeing, okay? That doesn't mean it's necessarily set up, set in stone, okay? Other things can come in your path. And just to give you a clue or an example, I'm trying to look for a different marker, don't have one, is that you, there's other people on these paths. So let's say they see you working here, you know, let's say at a bank, just to make things easier, a bank six months from now, 
to get from here point A to point B takes you six months. Let's say along the path, you cross paths with Joe Schmo. Joe Schmo or Joe Blow, and he's walking on this path. I'm going to do his black. <clears throat> he's walking, let's say, down this path, down this street, and he cuts you off here. Here, you guys cross paths. There's a crossing of paths, and the two of you meet. And Joe so provides you with an opportunity or a chance or a different type of job that you can take. Maybe he's a hiring manager at um, a retail store. So he, provide, he shows you that opportunity, tells you about that opportunity. You make the choice to take up on that opportunity. Okay? So instead of continuing to traverse down this path where you would have been, you start going down this path with Joe, okay? And then you head up this way, and let's say that way, etc. So you can choose to change paths in life. And so the psychic, when they're telling you what path they see, they see that at this time, in the current moment, in the present, if you continue the way you're going, and if the energies continue developing the way they're going, this is the way that things will lead within a certain whatever time period. Hush, dog. Sorry, I have my little dog here. So, um, that's where it's going to lead. However, you can make choices and decisions on this path, and other people can make choices and decisions on this path, or you can meet obstacles or blockages along this path that can change the way the path has been set out. And you, instead of taking the original path, there are plenty of options usually for a person to change paths or courses in their life. So the future is never set in stone and that's part of the reason that we're able to do spells because a psychic may see that you know this is the most likely path and let's say it's not a job that you're getting. Maybe it's some type of loss of work that's coming here. That's where you're headed, to lose your job. You understand? Um, spells or magic can help influence other people as well as influence your path. So instead, when you get here, you go this way instead of that way. And by going this way, let's say, your job is secure. Okay? I know you probably can't see that on the board, but I wrote job secure. So, this is very important to understand. Otherwise, you know, you may become disappointed in, in these, in spiritual things. Because you might think that things are set in stone, and they're not. And it's very important that our choices, our decisions, and our actions all support the goal that we're trying to reach. I hope this, is, this has helped you in some form, shape, or way. God bless you. I hope that all the spirits may guide and protect you. And we'll speak with you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.